Before we get too far into this module, let's make sure everyone's on the same page when it comes to kind of casual taxonomic terms. Okay? Remember, we've talked before about how scientific names with the species and genus should be capitalized and italicized appropriately. Uh, but you may or may not have ever looked into what it actually means when you say the word chirophyte or plant instead of using the taxonomic term. Okay? So really there are kind of three general classes of words that we will often use to refer to a group of organisms or a characteristic that is distinctive to that group. Okay? First, you have the most formal. Uh, for example, charophyta is the Latin taxon uh, for the group itself. Okay? This is a noun, okay? and of course it should be capitalized. Um, anything above the genus level is going to be capitalized. Charophyte is what you'll probably encounter more often. So this is the equivalent of saying plant or mammal or animal instead of plantae uh, and animalia. So this is an anglicized version of this same word, and it's generally just going to be easier and more natural for English speakers to say and gets used pretty commonly in the sentences. This actually should not be capitalized because it's not the name of the taxon itself. Okay? It's a version of the word. I know. Last is, for example, charophytan. Okay, this is an adjective that is, again, a form of the Latin taxon, okay? So charophyten is a characteristic of charophytes, okay? A charophyten uh, leaf, for example, or charophyten molecules, uh, charophyten molecular structure. Characteristics, okay? And again, this is generally used uh, in a more casual way than the Latin taxon itself. Mammalia, mammal, mammalian is a good way to think about the relationship between these words. You as a human are in the class mammalia, okay, which means that you are a mammal and have mammalian characteristics such as hair, being warm-blooded, and feeding one's offspring using milk. 